Hi, this is Yuris from Mixparts. Today we're going to talk about the solid modeling feature of Roblox Studio. A solid modeling is the tool you can use to make very complicated and interesting shapes. Shapes that previously could not exist in Roblox. Before, when you're working with a model, you're limited to the basic parts, the sphere, the part, the cylinder, and it could somewhat limit what you could create. With solid modeling, you just use a couple operations, you can make pretty much any shape you like. Let me show you what I mean. I'm in Studio, and I'm going to use the Union tool, which is the basic operation of solid modeling. What Union does, it lets you take two or more parts and fuse them together. So for instance, I have these two basic parts. Just put them down so that they're overlapping. You notice how there's a seam here. Roblox is treating these as two parts and can look kind of ugly when you have a big model comprised of a lot of overlapping parts like this. But if I click the Union tool, it fuses them together into one solid shape. Notice how there's no seam, no difference between them. Roblox will treat this as one shape. It can make a really nice and clean model. Now that's nice. Where solid modeling gets really interesting is with negations. So let's take two parts again. And I'm going to arrange them very similar to how those last two were arranged, overlapping. But this time, I'm going to select one of them and click Negate. Notice how it turns translucent and red. shows that it's a negative part. Now if you union a negative part with a regular part, again with just a simple union tool, it cuts the negative part out. And you can create shapes that, again, previously were not possible in Roblox. The last tool of solid modeling is very simple and straightforward. It's called separate. So if I didn't like how this union turned out, I can click on it, click separate, and splits it back into the parts that made it up. And then I can move the negative part around. I move it off to the side. Union it again. And makes it something entirely new. Now don't forget, you're not limited to just using parts with solid modeling. For instance, say I want to cut a sphere in half. So I'm just going to put it down on the ground. Put a part right next to it. I'm going to use this part to cut the sphere in half. All I have to do is just scale it so that it completely overlaps the part of the sphere I don't want anymore. Click negate so that the big part is now a negative part. Select them both, union, and it cuts the sphere in half. And now just using these simple operations again and again, you can create pretty much anything you can imagine. And don't forget, you can even take these unions and you can use them as negations themselves. So let's say I just negate that half sphere I made. And there you go. Again, a brand new part. So using these tools, you can create any part that you can imagine, put them into your game, and you can make it a much more interesting environment. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Stay tuned for more lessons in the future.